kazi ni kazi brought to you by the ministry of industrialization the ministry of industrialization tunaimarisha viwanda iwana nchi wenye bidi hawachoki kutafuta riziki zao usinicheke naendeleza gurudumu la maendeleo kazi ni kazi kazi ni kazi the transport sector has been a key player in the country's economy Rail, road, air and water transport has been significant in supporting the country's internal and external trade. And as Kenya continues to enjoy a well-developed infrastructure compared to other countries in the region, one man has seized the opportunity to unite the East African community through Lake Victoria. Vipul Amin is the Managing Director at Tricon International. His company runs marine services which allow traders to do business in Kenya, Uganda and Tanzania. Uh, we are basically in the business of shipbuilding and ship operations. The project was initially started with running oil tankers from Kisumu into the lake ports of Mwanza, Soma, Port Bell, Jinja, which are the main ports for oil movements from here. For a concept whose usage has only been within the confines of the port of Mombasa, Amin's decision to extend the service to the lake, as he says, was initially met with doubt. His was an exceptional idea, one that even financial institutions needed time to understand. It was very difficult for them to grasp a project like that. Because the initial reaction would be, no, we don't know this project and since we have never come across something like this, uh, we may not be interested in it. So it took us quite a while, about, you would say, at least five to six months from bank one bank door to the other. Undeterred, Amin went on to establish what is now a major player within the marine service industry transporting liquid and other cargo across the region. We are carrying crude palm oil in the tank and as you see we carry fertilizer and those products for our clients and dry cargo that could be the food stuff finished and raw materials like what we are doing now, fertilizers, to be taken across to at this moment to ginger. With the demand for foodstuff and other goods set to go up as a result of the newly created market in southern Sudan, local investors are anticipating a major boost for marine transport. With this demand, opportunities are likely to open up even for small-scale traders to transport smaller luggage. Normally, five boxes would be pretty difficult in terms of carrying on a vessel like this, uh, purely because it would mix up cargo in terms, unless the destination is the same and you would come and say, I have a truckload. If we have the space, we would take your truckload. Yes, we would. For traders interested in this mode of transport, the process, Amin says, is simple. When the products come in, if they are being imported, they come into the bus support and the documentation is done. And it comes to the KRA authorities and we put them in the go-downs here, which is, this is a bonded area. And from there, once the paperwork is duly completed, then they're loaded on to the ships. The uh, loading uh, manifest is created by the custom and the products are moved from here to the destination. But one who benefits can make all the difference. If when we were running oil tankers, this, this was becoming the safest uh, way of running uh, or transporting oil. Because first, uh, there was no overturning things like that and siphoning of stuff. These vessels have been built to standards with double hull and to the uh, environmental factors. Uh, so the spillage factor, the pollution, siphoning, all those matters uh, which we were always worried about with those kind of products were not at all experienced when clients were moving on the tankers. And uh, carrying in bulk as I come back again is always the cheapest way. You cannot beat the marine operation when you have to carry in bulk. And as Amin enjoys the comfort of an afternoon breeze, there is little indication that his experience with a marine venture has not been as calm as the environment he is basking in. But he knows better. Those boats which are so small at night, without lights, without anything, have hit ships. And they have, there have been some serious, some fatal injuries. What I think is, is the biggest problem that we've had, which I think over the last 10 years plus, uh, we have not been able to solve. Though it's very simple to do so. 
sometimes I feel maybe there is no political will. Sometimes I feel maybe they don't see the interest and the importance of the lake transport operation. Nonetheless, Amin is happy that his idea has become a livelihood supporting several households, some even miles away. Well, we have a staff of 20, total administrative as well as the ship group. At this moment, that's what we have. Besides transport service, the Africa's largest lake has huge potential, which local entrepreneurs can take advantage of. We have got a beautiful marine yard here, which is capable of doing vessels the size of the wagon ferry, which are 93 meters plus carrying 40 plus wagons, which can be built by us right at the marine yard here. We don't need to use it, as I, it seems to be the normal practice, whether it's here or in Mombasa. With the growing regional economic cooperation, the demand for marine transport is expected to grow in higher. And as investors anticipate this growth, Amin is fast rolling out his strategy for the future. What we would be basically trying to do is accommodate all kinds of cargo to get vessels which are more flexible in terms of taking all kinds of goods, whether it's an oversized cargo, whether it's just box cargo, loose cargo, liquid cargo. But for the Tricon International to be where it is, there has been a silent partner, one who took the risk to support Amin's idea when others kept distance. The Industrial Development Bank Limited, a government's agency under the Ministry of Industrialization, saw Amin's idea take the first steps and has been a reliable supporter throughout the journey. They've been very keen in the initial state. The officers were very keen to understand this whole project because it was, it was key for them also to understand. And uh, once we started operation, uh, it wasn't easy for us initially, as the moment was not as was envisaged. And uh, yes, IDB was pretty patient with us on those first beginning years. Uh, because, and they gave us full support from that point of view uh, because they did realize that uh, we were genuinely, the potential was there, but it was waiting for it to tap. But once time when you go into a new venture, totally uh, unexplored, it takes time for the returns to come. And uh, IDB, I think, uh, walked with us step to step. And as stakeholders seek to ease congestion at the port of Mombasa, an option lies in upgrading Lake Victoria to handle piled up cargo and minimize unnecessary delays at the port.